morning, little things. It's okay. Come on, then. Good morning. I have just seen my first bear. Literally on the trail in front of me. <laughs> and it's run in the direction that I am actually heading in. So I'm stood here and the bear is around, was around about here <laughs> and it's kind of run off up there and that is where I'm heading now so I'm going to start singing some Disney songs very loud to frighten it away. It was so cool to see it, it was brown and it had kind of a, a pale brown back as well and it was kind of running off away from me but <laughs> I wanted to see one. It would be the day that I'm on my own, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be if he's a buzzing in the tree making honey for other people apart from me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a look at the fancy ants and maybe then try a few Running bare, a little wider, in a loop that never dies Running bare, a little wider, in a loop that never dies a donkey named Eeyore is his friend And Kanga and Little Roo And there's Owl And most of all Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh Tubby little Tubby Ooh! Pretty little mountain <laughs> Tubby little Tubby all stuffed with fluff It's Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh Silly nearly with the old bear Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh <laughs> I think he might have been frightened off by now I've not seen him since he ran off into the woods Wow <laughs> The view is incredible as always Blimey. Look at that. if this is bear fur right on the path in front of me oh my gosh it might be it looks bear like This morning have been utterly gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous hike. I can't believe it. Everything is so beautiful. You've got the mountain in the distance. You've got all the different trees. The birds are flying everywhere. It is such a beautiful day on trail this morning. And seeing the bear, oh my gosh, it was so strange because at first, being a photographer, right? <laughs> the first thing that you want to do is be really quiet, get your camera and take some photos and obviously doing YouTube and having memories, I wanted some video clips as well. So when I saw the bear, when, <laughs> I think this is the right way to do it, by the way. My first instinct was scare the bear away because that's what you're taught, you know, I'm out here on my own. There's nobody around for miles. I've not passed anybody today or yesterday, actually. I think I saw two people going south yesterday. 
and the first thing I started doing when I saw the bear was shouting hi bear at it and clicking my poles together to frighten it off and as it was running away I'm thinking oh I didn't get a picture <laughs> but I know the priority is stay safe out here look after yourself scare bears away so that I'm glad the instinct kicked in but at the same time I'm so gutted I didn't get any of it on camera I think it's times like that when a GoPro would be really good but look at the mountain to the side of me it is utterly gorgeous It's always a little bit unnerving when you come across things like this that are left. It's somebody's foam roller and ground sheet from a tent. And in one way you kind of think, well it's probably just something that they've left or it could just be rubbish and in a way you kind of hope it is. But at the same time you also worry that something's happened to that hiker. So what I've just done is taken a photograph of it, recorded my exact location and I'll report it when I get into town. But it's always a little unnerving to see things like that. I mean, sometimes you see backpacks unattended. That's usually because people have gone to the toilet on the trail. But things like that, when there's no one else around and there's no other bag or anything, it's always worth keeping an eye out because I know there have been people that have gone missing um, on hiking the PCT. So it's always good to keep your eyes open and just check and never just presume. I've had the experience earlier on in the trip where I came across a suitcase with some kind of random things there. And I hadn't really thought much about it until I saw some comments on my video about reporting it. So I, I reported it <laughs> and didn't hear anything back, but at least I've put it out there. So if anyone is wanting to investigate anything, they can look into it. But it's just something to bear in mind when you're out hiking. Now this is a sight when you come round the corner. I was not expecting the lake to be this big. It is beautiful. Wow. This lake is so tranquil. It's so quiet. There's no mosquitoes. The water looks crystal clear. It's called Large Dewey Lake. Oh, it's a sight to behold. It really is.
I am feeling slightly overwhelmed this morning. Oh, it's been such a weird day this morning. I have not seen another soul, unless you count a bear. But one o'clock-ish, I started coming down here and I've probably passed about 80 people and said hello to everyone. It's obviously a very popular place to come and day hike. It has been pretty intense. It is beautiful, but extremely busy and I'm about to cross a, a road now and there's loads more people down there as well, so I'm going to keep hiking. <laughs> so I am at Chinook Pass and I have come across these two wonderful gentlemen. So we have Mad Baker and we have Ron <laughs> and they are providing chill magic today. So tell me, why are you doing this? Why are you feeding crazy dirty hikers? <laughs> I just love being around the hikers. I did some hiking back in the mid 90s, early 90s and it keeps me connected to the trail anymore. I just love meeting everybody from all around the world. <laughs> and why do you do it? <laughs> yes. Uh, some things warm you from within and some things warm you from without. This oh. warms you from both sides. I love that. That is perfect. <laughs> and thank you so much guys. It is so appreciated. You're welcome. Everybody come and join us. We have plenty of food. Anything. That's great. <laughs> So cute. I like this saying. This is so pretty. This is Sheep Lake. I can't see any sheep. <laughs> it is very pretty though. Brave thing, aren't you? Hey, what are you doing? Hey. I've decided if I can name these plants, these would be called cotton-headed ninny muggins. They look so funny. I like them. They're like proper, proper fairy. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Wow. a bear down there. A bear? Yeah, it's a bit hard to see now. Wow. Let's see if I can sort of see it. I've just seen my second bear of the day from a very safe distance. If you can see behind me, let's try and work out where he was. Around about there in the meadow area. He was a big one as well. And then I was watching him for, through somebody's binoculars, which was so cool. But now I've realised that... So the bear was around about there and the trail <laughs> goes all the way down here and through there. And that is where the bear ran to. So it looks like I'm going to be singing a few more songs. <laughs> 